Rattlesnakes are a very widespread species of reptile that can be found in North America and in South America. And they live in many different habitats and ecosystems. And I personally am a really big fan of rattlesnakes because not only are they really important in their ecosystem for keeping rodents and other pests under control, but I live in Arizona, which has the highest number of rattlesnake species in all of America. So we have 13 species of rattlesnakes that live here and they're so incredible. But the reason that they can live not only in the desert, like here in Arizona, but in a bunch of different habitats is because of their amazing adaptations. So one of the coolest things about them is their ability to camouflage. Different species of rattlesnakes will be different colors and have different patterns based on where they live. So if you had a rattlesnake that lived in an area where there was a lot of red coloring in the rocks, we would probably see those rattlesnakes having a red color to their scales. Just like if we had one that lived in a dark forest, we might see them being a dark green or brown color that helped them blend into the leaves on the forest floor. Another awesome thing about them is their ability to sense heat. So this is something that all pit vipers have in common. Rattlesnakes are a type of pit viper, and pit vipers get their name because they have these little holes kind of by their noses that we call heat sensing pits, and that allow them to detect different temperatures in the environment. So if a rattlesnake is hunting at nighttime and it's totally dark outside, there's no light at all, they can see pretty well in the dark, but what they're really relying on are those heat sensing pits. So if a little mouse or another warm blooded animal runs by, they can actually detect that mouse using those heat sensing pits because they're warm blooded. Once rattlesnakes are able to locate their prey using their heat sensing pits, they're able to use their fangs and their venom to help them catch their prey. So this makes it really easy for the rattlesnakes. All they have to do is bite down and that venom goes in and kind of does the rest of the work. So that really gives rattlesnakes a leg up when it comes to adaptations for hunting. Another really awesome adaptation that rattlesnakes have is that rattle that they're named after. So that rattle is actually made of keratin, the same stuff as our fingernails and our hair, and each time the snake sheds, they grow a new rattle. And scientists think that rattle is used to scare away any potential predators or to let any large animals in the area uh, just make them aware that the rattlesnakes are there and that they're not to be messed with. And then what I think is probably the coolest thing about rattlesnakes is that even though they're a reptile and most reptiles lay eggs, rattlesnakes actually don't. They give birth to live babies. And this is a really helpful physical adaptation because eggs can be really vulnerable. When snakes just leave their eggs in a nest or a burrow somewhere, that leaves them open to other animals coming in and eating them. So they can't really protect themselves when they're eggs, but when they're little baby snakes, they're able to slither away from any danger that might come towards them and it helps them survive a little bit better. So these are just a couple adaptations that rattlesnakes use to help them survive in a ton of different ecosystems. And I know that rattlesnakes might not have the best reputation and that they can be kind of scary, but I hope learning about all of these incredible characteristics made you guys appreciate rattlesnakes just a little bit more.